Hello everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome and baby, welcome to Autumn. Do you feel that chill? It's coming on strong. Put on your scarf. I love the fall. It's my favorite time of year. I love the fall. It's my favorite time of year. So first things first, I have to get a dress for a wedding. I'm a guest and I had a dress. It's not really, it's a little too like gown, a little too bridesmaid. So I'm going to have to change the dress. Hopefully I can find one today. And I wanted to make a boo basket. I've been seeing it all over TikTok and I was like, babe, I'm gonna have to do that and I want to do it for my husband. I told him it's for me, but it's like for us for him but like for us it's also our money <laughs> so i want to do that i want to like give him a little basket of like halloweeny stuff like autumn stuff it's just like fun to get into the vibe it's also an excuse to buy things capitalist barbie over here i also have to get more foundation i know um this what i'm wearing right now is not exactly my shade oh by the way before i say anything else before any y'all comment these bangs are clip-ons oh thank god they're clip-ons i did not cut my hair if you want me to let me know <laughs> every time i clip this on i'm like I need bangs, but I don't. Do you want to know why I have this bang on? Do you want to know why? Because I have a giant monument on my forehead. So while that's getting cleared up, I don't want to cover it in makeup. I don't want to whatever for the vlog. It's not worth it. So do you see it? No, no, you don't. And if you do, shut up. I also really want to make Frankenberry treats. I rewatch Girls Next Door probably mm, every month. And I keep seeing Holly be like, do you want a Frankenberry treat? You want a Frankenberry treat? No, thanks. Mm. She has a video on her channel, Holly Madison, of her like making the Frankenberry treats. So I'm going to follow that recipe and I'm going to make some treats. Oh, I also am going to try stuff on the Starbucks fall menu. I've tried a couple things. I tried like the apple crisp latte. Not my jam. I love apple. I'm an apple girly, but I don't want it in my coffee. I'm all dressed and ready to go, babe. I'll show you the outfit right here. I am totally obsessed. I got this dress in Salem and I love that the shoes match the headband. I am so excited to get started with this vlog. Fall shopping is like my all time favorite. So come with me. It's about 10 30 a.m. We'll see how long it takes me. Before I get started, I have a word for our wonderful sponsor over at Catch Beauty. Hey there, beautiful. I want to show you something that has completely upgraded my hair removal process in my transition. It is the Catch Beauty at home IPL laser hair removal device. And trust me when I say this is a game changer. As a woman of transgender experience, I feel like we, or at least I, have needs of hair removal that go above and beyond that of the average person's regime. I have spent hours and easily thousands of dollars on salon laser and I knew that if I wanted to get my whole body smooth I needed to take matters into my own hands. Thanks to Catch Beauty I can get salon quality results at home for a fraction of the price. It's super easy to use. I just slide their hand slide over my skin and the IPL technology does its magic. It's safe, effective, and it leaves my skin feeling incredibly smooth. Take a look at these before and after shots. The results are unbelievable. I used to really struggle with razor burned ingrown hairs. Thanks to Catch Beauty, I don't have those issues anymore and I feel confident to wear whatever I want and feel comfortable in my own body. And guess what? Catch Beauty now offers even more amazing products to enhance your hair removal routine. Make sure that you check out their hair removal spray and their growth inhibitor creams. The spray is gentle and effective. The growth inhibitor cream does its job. Catch Beauty has simplified my beauty routine and saved me so much time and money. Visit their website at catchbeauty.com slash discount slash froze or click the link in my description and use the code froze at discount for money off your order. Thank you so much to Catch Beauty for sponsoring this portion of today's video. And without further ado, baby, let's get started on this fall vlog. Okay, don't look at how messy the car is, but we are going on our adventure. It is currently raining boots, so if you hear any like tin roof sounds, baby, please ignore it. I brought my AirPods, which by the way, I have the cutest case for my AirPods. Ah! I brought my AirPods, but they're dead. I literally charged them yesterday. Were they like open overnight? I don't know. So first up is Starbucks. I've had some of the things on the fall menu so far, but not any of the food. We're gonna go and I will be back with my order. Hi, how are you today? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you for asking. What can I get started for you? Um, can I please have a baked apple croissant? And- Is that warmed up? Um, yes, please. All 
Okay, a warmed up bacon apple croissant, and what else for you? And uh, could I please get a, let's do a pumpkin cream cold brew, please. A pumpkin cream cold brew, what size? Tall, please. A tall pumpkin cream cold brew, anything else for you today? That'll be all. All right, pull right up. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, good for you. Did you want a straw for that? Uh, nope. Yeah, I just took this. I, I'm not. Yeah, okay. Dave. Sorry. Sure. Okay. Well, thanks. <laughs> thank you so much. No thanks. Oh my gosh! Thank y'all so much. <laughs> you too. Ooh. Gotta love free stuff. Okay, let's pull in somewhere and eat this. Okay, so we're parked. I ordered this, just a little tall pumpkin cream cold brew. Looks delicious. Um, they handed me a like venti ice drink and I just took it. And then I was like, wait, this is not what I ordered. I didn't say anything. Cause like, I don't care. I'm not gonna like, whatever. But like she turned around and she was like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, this is what I ordered. So I gave it back to her. Uh, but someone else back there was like, do you want a free pumpkin whatever? So uh, grande pumpkin cream cold brew. So I guess this is the same thing as this. Um, but bigger. Oh, girl. Okay. It's got some pumpkin spice in the top. Let's give it a little shake and try. That's really good. Hold on. Let me turn the car off. That is really good. It's just pumpkin-y enough. I'm not a huge pumpkin coffee girly, but it was like that time of year, so I had to. This is very good. It's not too sweet. I think this is the same thing. There's no, um, stuff on top and the foam looks more orange, but maybe that's just me. Here's this one. I think it's the same thing. Let's see. Okay, the pumpkin foam is delicious. Get that. I would say if you want a pumpkin-y coffee, get whatever you normally get and then add the pumpkin cold foam because girl, oh my God. <laughs> I guess I should chuck one of them down. Um, okay. And this, oh, it smells so good. This is the apple croissant. Looks a little like booty hole. I don't, actually, if your booty hole looks like this, I don't know what's going on. Okay smells so good it's so warm so like cushiony alarm <laughs> okay this is very good well it's it's not as filled with apple as i expected and i also kind of like that I love sweets. I'm not saying like, I don't like things that are too sweet. My coffee, I like not too pumpkin-y. And my pastries, if I wanted like a tart, I would get a tart. This is a croissant, I think. And apple croissant, perfect. Perfect. In fact, I wanna learn how to make these. Can't be that hard. Mm. It's so good. Wow, I have ya. <laughs> I wanna talk about like body image and weight issues if you want to fast forward if you're like triggered by that totally understand fast forward to this point right here i have struggled with an eating disorder my whole life pretty much um i my first memories of having like a real problem it was definitely like maybe fourth grade and it got like way worse as i got older i'm fine now i mean you know i've, I've been in recovery for a few years i have slip ups here and there but eating on camera is something i don't normally do And I would not get just whatever drink I wanted at Starbucks. I wouldn't just be like, oh, that looks good. I get a latte. I'll get it like this with cold foam. I would just get an iced Americano because zero calories, babe. I would not get the food. I would carry almonds in a little bag with me and like snack on them if I was like dying and that's it. But now I'm able to eat on camera. Um, I order the drink that I want, even if it's like a thousand calories, which a lot of these are, this actually probably isn't. I don't want to like face comments being like, of course she's eating fatty because that's what I'm thinking to myself. Oh my God. First of all, I'm working on my own thoughts, but there was one comment that I saw that actually really warmed my heart. Uh, I'm going through it, recovering. Um, I'm going to put up a side-by-side -side here and here of what I looked like back then and what I look like now. I think I look a lot better now, but I got a comment 
And I said something along the lines of like, does anyone else think Victoria looks so much better now that she's stopped tanning and she's gained some weight? And normally if I read that, I'd be like, oh, I gained weight, <laughs> right? But like, it actually made me feel better because I, I preach this all the time that if you're trans and you're trying to pass and you're like stick thin, it might behoove you to gain a little bit of weight if possible. Not everyone can, you know, whatever. But it, it does help to round out your features and it makes you look less harsh. And I think that's the case with gaining weight for me as well. I'm done with bed tanning. Y'all won. Y'all win. I'm done with bed tanning. Um, but I am going to keep, I'm going to like for like special occasions, maybe I'll do like a self tanner. But for right now, no self tanner. This is 100% natural, babe. Okay, that was delicious. Um, I don't know what to do about these two coffees. Why am I, it's the most first world problems ever. First step, I think should be for the dress because I am gonna be a raging bitch by the end of it. I just like, I, I love shopping until I'm done and then I'm done. So if I'm trying on dresses at the end, I'm gonna be sweaty, I'm gonna be bitchy, whatever. So I should do the dresses first. Um, Yeah, so we're gonna go to Macy's and I'll see you there. Okay, I made it to the mall. Does my stomach hurt? Yes. Do I have to pee? Yes. Will I be going to the bathroom immediately? Yes, but that's all a part of the journey. I was going to go to Target as like a separate stop for the boot basket, but I'm wondering, does Target in the mall, I don't really want to like wander around the mall with my shit, but like maybe I will, we'll see. looking I think it fits me really well um I like the like come out and yeah it's a little sultry but girl everyone there is so hot so I'm gonna have to look good I think we are good okay so this is gonna be the dress I'm actually kind of a fan of the feathers um and I also think the feathers would probably come off easy I found my dress okay so the dress is a success I got the dress it was literally $62 it was on sale, I think it was only 20% off, but it was supposed to be like a hundred and something. So I'm very happy about that. The ostrich, like the feather part of it, it's cute, but it's not really me. And I also know that it's not gonna last. So I looked and the the hem on that side is finished. So I should be able to like fold it over. Um, so I should be able to take it off no problem with the seam ripper when that time comes. So I'm wearing that dress for the wedding on Friday and then a fundraiser like gala um, I think the week after. It's so hot in my car right now. It was freezing earlier. So I'm driving around to the other side of the mall. I'm gonna go to the Target. I put my little uh, dress bag right there. And yeah, we're gonna go to Target. So time for a boot basket. Target should have been the last stop, not the first one, because now I'm carrying this whole boo basket around. But I'm gonna get him some 
Pokemon cards from Toy Vault because that's his thing. I did not have the 151 in stock, but I do have, I think it's like Obsidian, Crown Obsidian, something like that, I don't know, but it's one that I like, it's relatively new. They don't sell it in singles, so that's what I got. I told y'all, I'm glad I did the dress first because I'm turning into a bitch. It gets hot and girl, turn into a bitch. It is time for Trader Joe's. I still have my little coffee. This is actually the free one that they gave me. I don't like need anything at Trader Joe's. And I wanna get like snacks. So we're gonna go. done with Trader Joe's and here is my little bag. Actually, my friend Evan cashed me out. I've known him for a while, but I haven't seen him working there like ever. So it was nice to see him. Um, so partially for the boo basket, partially just because I needed stuff at Trader Joe's. Um, we got some spiced cider. What is a boo basket if it doesn't have cider? Also, what is like an autumn date if there's no apple cider? So we got apple cider with dinner tonight. I'm gonna do the rest of my like carrot sweet potato soup puree with chicken breast for each of us. And then I'm gonna split this in half and then in half again, and then like grill it with some butter. Um, I feel like it's gonna be amazing. This, oh my God, I fucking love this shit. It is so good. This is like $8. Um, yeah, love this. By the way, if you're ever cooking and you're using like extra virgin olive oil, that's for like finishing things. That's for like addressing. This is for cooking. Extra rich in olive oil has a significantly lower smoke point. So if you're frying something up, if you're even just cooking chicken in a pan, it's gonna burn. It's gonna give like a weird taste. This will taste pretty much the same, maybe a little less flavor, but like you kind of want that sometimes. I got this little like zucchini, I think it's, yeah, butternut squash pasta. It's so cute, little pumpkin shapes. I feel like a butter sauce, like a butter rosemary thyme sauce would be so good. And the last thing I got, girl, I'm obsessed with this. I discovered this in college. It is so good. The Harvest Blend Tea. It's caffeine free. Christopher doesn't really do caffeine and oh my god this is gonna be so delicious. I haven't had this in forever so I was thrilled to see it. I actually also just got some local honey so I'm gonna use that with this. Oh bitch it's gonna be so good. Okay so I think potentially my last stop might be at home. If y'all haven't been to at home, woo, at home is my spot, baby. Imagine like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or whatever. It's all home stuff, but like it's aisles and aisles. It's sort of like an interior designer's warehouse, but like for like normies. Oh my God. It's so not like you want a pillow. Oh, good. They have two aisles filled wall to wall with every color, texture, and size you can imagine. Um, it's a little intimidating, but they have a huge Halloween section and we were just there recently. So maybe I'll pick up some mirrors or something. We'll see. Off to you at home. why anyone would need that. It's gonna be me though. I'm gonna have that. Uh -huh. 
Okay, so at home was a bust, but it was some good content. Um, I'll stop by the liquor store. There's one on my way home. I'm back from the liquor store. I will show you what I got like at home, to be honest. I, this bang started to like come off while I was in there. And so I had to haphazardly fix it. And it's a little too low, but like, I hate looking crazy in the liquor store because I don't want to look like I'm like, Drizunk. I wanted to just go home right away, but instead I stopped at the liquor store. I got a couple things for the boo basket and I'm gonna stop at um, Ulta really quick because I just need a new foundation shake because I'm so pale. And this up here, I'm using like the e.l.f. Um, ignore my blemishes, obviously, but I'm using an e.l.f. Um, fuck, hello? I'm using an e.l.f. CC cream. It's okay, but it's kind of like gathering over here and ignore the... <sighs> I just got over being sick, so my skin's kind of like... Eh. So I'm going to a wedding on Friday, as you know, and so I'm just gonna go and get the e.l.f. Halo Glow foundation, but I have to like test it and stuff. So I'm off to Ulta and then I'm going home. Okay, Ulta haul. First of all, I tested all the foundations like on my arm and I was like, which one works the best? Then I go, hmm, which one could be the best? I'm rubbing it all over. So I use like makeup wipes and alcohol. It's still fucking all over me. So I'm gonna have to like pre-treat it before I wash it and hopefully it comes out. This dress was not cheap, baby. So anyway, quick little Ulta haul. I got literally two things. I got the Ordinary Nice in Mind. I use this all the time. I just ran out and I also, I was planning on getting the e.l.f. halo glow, but it is not my shade. The lightest shade is like so dark. I'm back to where I was in high school, bitch. So I got the Rem Beauty. This looks way darker than it actually is. This is like very light. Actually, you know what? Let me take it out. Hold on. This is the Rare Beauty. No, not the Rare Beauty, bitch. The Rem Beauty. The Rem Beauty foundation the sweetener foundation. This like just came out. See, like that's actually my shade. So perfect. And it's like very nice. It smells fine. Um, blends like a dream. Really reminds me of like a NARS foundation. It was 35 bucks. So not horrible. And yeah, so I'm going to go home because I want to go home. <sighs> so I'm going home and I'll build the boot basket. Okay, I am back and it's time to build Chris's boot box. He's finishing work right now, so before he's out, I'm so excited to get this all together. Obviously, we're starting out with the biggest bag from Target. It's kind of already full of everything. <laughs> so the Frankenberry treats and the marshmallows, that's gonna be separate because I'm gonna make the treats like as a separate thing. Oh my god, it smells so good. Oh. He's gonna be so excited for this. And for that matter, this. This is where we're starting out for the boo basket. I think this was actually $5. Yeah, it was $5, this giant pail. I think it maybe was supposed to come with, oh, maybe it was supposed to <laughs> come with the handles. Or maybe you can attach it yourself. Cause it has like these, anyway. I'm realizing now why a lot of the girlies are making their boo baskets with a blanket as the base. Also, maybe not using this. Although, I've seen people do a whole laundry basket. Who's getting that much stuff to put in a laundry basket? That's enormous. I am gonna be making the treats, but that's not gonna be until after I give it to him. So, I'll just put this right in the box as well, because it'll just take some more space up. It's huge. So, of course, going right in. Necessity. I think probably the heaviest things should go in first. So, we got these right here going in this disgusting he might not drink it if no one else does I will um just to see just for shits and gigs hopefully he'll like this as well again if he doesn't I'll drink it and the last one Oktoberfest actually my Halloween costume is an Oktoberfest girls I'm gonna do this next just kind of in there this I figure is gonna be good when you carve pumpkins or at least like for for fun as little decorations. I'm so excited for this. It was low key good for me, I guess. <laughs> this going right in, he's gonna go crazy for it. And these, I think, should probably go there. Okay, we got the boo basket. Um, all that's left is the boo. So once he's out of work, I will uh, have him come over and open it up. Okay, are you ready for your boo basket boo? <laughs> Come sit down. Can I look? Yes. Oh. Well, let me, okay, it's very big. 
open. That's what I say a lot. Huh? Oh! Oh my goodness. First of all, the hazelnut uncrustables, these are going down. Yeah. These are going down. <gasps> Do you have a pack of Pokemon cards? <laughs> There's two packs of Pokemon! <laughs> I did. Is a really good day. I asked if they had um, the uh, 151. They don't sell them in singles. They don't have it. Well, they don't have it in singles yet, and they, oh, uh, like I said, the, the super premium ultra whatever box isn't out yet. So, we have those. I'm eating um, these tonight. Uncrustables has been my like hyper fixation food, so I got him the good ones. Ooh, apple of my chai. Figured we could. That looks good. Try a couple of different saddest. And Oktoberfest. That I just got because that's not a cider. A Martin I just got style it lager. Now that looks good. We're gonna be. Is this Oktoberfest. beer lager? That's a cider. And a cider. I mean, this I, is yeah. That's like a an alcoholic chai cider. cider. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. This is this is <laughs> way beyond my expectations. That. Tea Ooh. is fucking incredible. Ooh, I like one caffeine free and two. It's like what did I say? What kind of? I immediately was like, he doesn't drink a lot of caffeine. He's gonna love this. But this is look at the harvest fun. Like what flavors are in it? Right oh, it's just ginger, uh, oh, cinnamon, perfect. hibiscus, cinnamon, apple, whatever. This will be really it nice. It tastes so good. Oh, oh. give it a sniff. I used to drink that all the time in college, and I was obsessed. Ah, 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 you gotta... oh. I used to drink that all the time in college, um, and I couldn't find it forever. I think actually maybe last year we went to um, Trader Joe's, and I was looking for it. I was like, damn, it's not there. It's so good. I could drink it like all day. It's I'm really excited. Literally so fucking good. I'm gonna just put that yeah, in yeah, there. Yeah. yeah, just good. All right. I like. There's a little fox on it. <laughs> I like a little fox on it. Oh, that's good. Oh my god. Pumpkin cheesecake. Oh, I'm excited about this. These Pepper Charms cookies are crack. Yeah, they're to die for. And the fact that it's pumpkin cheesecake, these are, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm very excited. This, <laughs> I'm gonna eat one of these in an Uncrustable. And we're going crazy tonight. I got him the smaller one because he's not a huge caffeine guy, but he does need a little, little pick me up. If I drank this, I would be up for three days. Yeah, yeah for sure. That wouldn't happen. So we got some fall zucchette pasta. Oh, they so, know what all everything is. Oh, what's it made with? So that is like a butternut squash butter squash one. Squash. It's Ooh. I've tried that before. It's really good. I figured that with like a butter sauce, maybe like a oh, almost good. like the um, sweet potato gnocchi kind of sauce, mm. but with that and like some chicken or like beans and know. They're little pumpkins. <laughs> Yeah. Woo. Okay, let's see. What else do we got? What are these? Those are just little tea lights. <laughs> I oh, figured well, that's when, when good. we carve our pumpkins, we can put that in there or like. Oh, perfect. Just whatever. It's just really cute. It's it's like pretty sweet. Bucks. Yeah. We could if we get a little table or something. We could put these that's what I was thinking. We're going to get our table underneath the TV, so it'll look good there. Yeah. The heavy thing. In oh, jeez, that's the non-alcoholic oh, cider. Oh, spiced cider for Trader Joe's has the best everything, so I've never had this. I'm very excited to try Oh, it's really good. We'll pop this. it in the fridge. Oh, we'll have some of that when we get back. <laughs> candy corn. Yeah, you gotta have the candy corn. You gotta have the candy corn. Can we feed Rosie a candy corn? No. Okay. She'd probably like it. Um, corn. Just like as a disclaimer, this Frankenberry right here, I'm making treats out of them with like marshmallows, like um, Ooh, Rice Krispies treats. Yep. Um, but mm -hmm. I just it took up more space in there, so I got it. <laughs> Rosie! Rosie. Look at her eyes, she knows. Rosie. She knows. Oh, do you see? What's in there, huh? What's in there, huh? What's this? Is that for you, Rosie? I think she could spell Is that catnip. for you, Rosie? Yeah, there's catnip in it. Rosie we'll have to take it away. She gets weird with catnip. She, she gets a little too much with catnip, but... It's already a little fast. A little spicy. <laughs> you can do. Good job. We can do. Oh, that's pretty. Good. <laughs> yeah, and she's now gonna she's go gonna and enjoy I some guarantee you when I go to take it away in five minutes, it's going to be sopping wet. Okay, so I am excited to try this. This I, is weird. I figured you might not like it. I just figured we had to try it. I like weird stuff. Like I like to try. I used to like dark beers and weird beers, which I, I almost thought you would chop mm. a stout. That I still like. IPAs okay. I'm done with. But like, yeah, me too. This is candy corn cider. It's not candy corn beer. It's cider. Yeah. This is the last thing in the bag. So that was last it. thing in the bag. Um, yeah, let's try it out. Candy corn cider. First of all, give it a sniff. Yeah, we're gonna find out about this one. Do you want me to try it first? <laughs> yes. I 
feel like it might just be a sugary like apple. Well, I mean, oh, the Brittany Broski moment. Uh, that that's good. It's like, um, <laughs> I like that a that's lot. That's like hard cider meets cream soda. That's exactly what it is. It's like the sugar from the candy corn or the taste from the candy corn yeah. makes it taste like that. Like that's what it. Oh man. Okay. This is a this is a this is a very high score. That I assume is gonna suck. So I'm actually so glad I got that kind of as a gag. I'm so glad. I mean, I would drink this regularly. I would too, actually. That's really good. That's kind of fucking heat. It smells disgusting, I'm not gonna lie. It, don't, if you're gonna drink that, don't. <laughs> no. Rosie! Rosie is messing. She's fucking that up. up. Let me show y'all. She'd be going for Nasty it. Look at that girl. Little Nasty girl. Nasty. Yeah. Okay. It is a crab. So there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Yo, he got an ente. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> All right. Tonight we're going out for burgers. I'm so excited. I am so hungry. So <gasps> we're leaving. We're leaving. It's burger time. Yeah. It's burger it's time. It's been fun, but it's burger time. All right. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. It helps out my channel so much. Share with anybody. Subscribe if you're not already. You know the drill. You are all amazing. And until I see you all next week, good luck. I love you.